This is a combination style steering wheel lock. You may have had these in the past where you use a key to get in and out. Now it's combination, so it's a whole lot more convenient. Just don't forget the password. So here it is right out of the box. Let me unbox it for you. Let me show you everything that's included. You get an instruction manual, which is actually a very good help. Everything you need to know is right there, really simplistic. You get a screwdriver, and then this little guy here looks like a screwdriver, but it's not. It's actually gonna help you set the password. So speaking of passwords, it comes out of the box, all zeros. So five zeros is how you get in. And then we're gonna change it here in a second, and I'll show you this little piece here once we're in the car. That's actually a little bit more than meets the eye, but more on that later. So again, yeah. all zeros is your password. If you take the little screw off, it takes this little cover plate off, and it exposes another little hole, and it says set. So you take that other screwdriver looking uh, piece, and you just punch through the little hole and then slide it down really easy, and that's gonna engage your ability to change the password. So for today, let's go from all zeros to 10101, and that will be the password for the remainder of this video. Uh, again, combination is so much easier than having to keep a key. I love it, very cool. All right, didn't mention it earlier, but this thing is super heavy duty, super sturdy. I was shocked at how heavy it is. Okay, after you've set it, you slide the, the uh, little set button back up and you put the cover on and then you put the screw in. It could not be any easier, super easy. And now let's take it out to the cars and put it to the test. We're gonna try it on my Tesla and then we're gonna try it on the Ford Explorer. Anything with the steering wheel is gonna be fine. All right, one zero one zero one, it opens up. You move one digit, it ain't opening up anymore. You move all five, it's even more locked, but it's, it's, it's not opening unless you go back to one zero one zero one. But of course you pick whatever password you want. All right, let's go out to the Tesla and put it on the steering wheel. Check this out. I'm gonna put it in both sides, get it tight, spin the number, and look at this, bam, that is locked in there tight. Now let's get it back to the password, change it up here, and you'll notice now there's a whole lot more range of motion, which is still locked, but you get to pick where you put it. That's still gonna be very difficult to drive, but I think the first placement was better. Now let's bring it out to the Ford. Again, lock it up. You'll see there's a whole lot of range on this one as well kind of fidget with it, find the right spot. But also most people are never gonna get in your car to begin with. They're gonna look through the window, they're gonna see this, and it's gonna be an extra level of deterrent so they won't mess with it. So like it a lot. All right, let me show you one of the feature that we kind of glossed over earlier. On the end there, there's a little black cap. And uh, right there, if you can pull that cap off, that is a point. You can actually break glass with that. And then by the way, the whole thing is a like a self-defense uh, weapon. This thing is heavy and sturdy. So I'm going to store it back here. This was a product that was sent to me for an honest review. This is my very honest review. I am very pleased with it. I would highly recommend it. Hope this helps.